doing some more random stuff. I ordered a ducky pad. Uh, uh, a Kickstarter is a Kickstarter rather, so I supported ducky pad, and it came in. So I was going to stream building that today. Uh, I got it partially to um, be useful uh, while streaming. So it's sort of, um, you know, you, you, you're going to watch me grow up here. So uh, it's a kind of cool thing. It's a little macro pad. It's got this little LCD screen on there that tells you what your macros are. And it's got a bunch of different uh, profiles, as they call them, as you press the button there to switch between them. Um, so it seems kind of cool, and I'm looking forward to using it. So I, um, yeah, let's get started. Let's just jump right in. I'll show off the stuff that I got to go along with it as we as we go through. So I'm just going to bop over to the instruction manual. Do, do, do. Kit assembly. Oh, there's another place to go. See this guide. So the assembly guide here, it says I'm going to need some stuff. That's all pretty close at hand. Uh, actually, let me go get my pliers closer at hand and then I'll, and then I'll jump right in here. Okay. Uh, recommended. Do, do, do. I got that sitting here. Handling bare circuit boards. Wash your hands first. Well, you know, they got this COVID on, so I've been washing my hands like every 40 minutes. Um, always hold the edge. Don't touch the components. Do, do, do. Dry weather. Yeah, the static is pretty bad these days. But I haven't. I've never had much of a problem with it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna risk it. I don't have a little wristbandy thing to uh, to use to to, to static um, discharge. But uh, off we go. Oh yeah, tiny little standoffs. Enough of this. Enough of this. This is this is getting excessive. I'm gonna switch over to camera view here, and then I can put this sort of side by side with it. I think I can do that. Yeah, come on, come on, Windows. Let me do it. Bingo. Okay, cool. So uh, let's look at it. Actually, let me get a light over here. We can see maybe a little bit better. Hope I don't wash it out too much with that. Uh, while we're here, I want to introduce you to my ErgoDox. Oh yeah, how nice. Susu Atari on there. Oh, white PCB. Be all jelly. Look at that. That kit. This is a this cable here is a one that I stole from the MicroDox kit that I ordered from Board Source. Um, so let's look inside. Uh, I've already opened this, so it's not like a proper unboxing. But they give us the little. Uh, how do I use a camera? Tip it toward that thing. Yeah, they give you a little slip of paper. Tells you where to go. I've already been there. That's what I was showing you. Uh, we've got the uh, top plate here. Need to peel off some paper. Bottom, bottom case plate. Got the PCB. Um, you should see my camera set up. It is so janky right now. Um, PCB. That's the back side. Here's the front side. Um, I'm pretty excited to use this thing. It's got the SD card inside there. So it's, what's cool about this is you can like take that SD card out and you can drop it into a different ducky pad or um, you can just use it for some extra storage or whatever you got. So yeah, um, uh, set this on its little bubble wrap packaging here. Oh, it comes with a little screwdriver. I think that was a... Um, a bit, a bit of kit that was included because of uh, like a, um, um, well it's a Kickstarter thing a flex goal there we go got a little flex goal going uh, likewise I think this uh, USB card reader for SD um, was uh, included for a flex goal um, a little brush I'll give it a little brush here yeah, I think it was supposed to also come with a, uh, a, a switch puller, but um, the supplier didn't ship them out in good order, so uh, no switch puller. It's fine. I have a I have a switch puller here, and a keycap puller here from uh, you know past stuff. Uh, some little rubber feet. 
that's good. And then I ordered it with the, I backed it rather with the 15 keycaps. I like the translucent keycaps. This will be my first keyboard that has like per LED, it's not a keyboard, first little keyboard thing that has per LED lighting. So I figured the, the you know, the switches. Plus I didn't have such an extensive collection of switches whenever I backed this thing. So um, yeah, let's get this all out of the way. Oh, I just realized, uh, yeah, that had my address on it. Nobody dox me, please if you're watching this. Um, cool. So I can just edit that out and post, right? Nobody's even watching right now. Oh, so I got a chatter here. Select live. What am I putting together? I'm putting together the ducky pad. Ducky pad. Uh, I'll put a link to the project here in the chat. Sorry, I'm not good at watching the chat while I do this and I don't have any notification set up so if I've ignored you for a while then uh, sorry about that um, so the the ducky pad is a Kickstarter campaign it's available for sale after the Kickstarter is done shipping there's also a discord channel that you could join that's pretty pretty active and pretty pretty nice so I suggest that entirely um, so I'm gonna peel off the Whoa, wow. Got somebody trying to ask me to buy followers. No, thank you. I get my followers organically. A little bit of coercion. I have some students from uh, the university I attended that I tutor, and I've gotten them to uh, join my, my, my Twitch here uh, by offering tutoring free, so yeah, they're getting some value out of it, but hey, uh, no big deal. So I'm just peeling off the, uh, if I was gonna buy anything, I would, uh, wow, I got a lot of people doing that. If I was trying to buy anything, I'd be buying a better camera setup, man. My God. Um, so yeah, I'm just peeling off all the, the, the paper. This should be familiar to anybody who's done any, um, uh, any work with laser cut acrylic which is definitely what this is. Um, this paper is the bane. Okay, there we go. Once you get a corner off, you can usually peel it pretty good. It's very satisfying to peel it. I love, I love the actual doing of it, but the starting of it kind of sucks. Um, nah, man, I ain't trying to buy followers. I don't want to be. I don't want to be internet famous that bad. I just want to build a little keyboard here and there. Do, do, do. That's distasteful. I wish Discord would do, or uh, Twitch would do more to uh, stop this uh, this botting to to buy followers. Okay. Anyway, um, I got the assembly here. I took off the paper. Got my caps. Let's see, I'll, I'll arrange it just the same way they have. I'm not gonna put the caps all in line, that's too much trouble. Um, back plate, front plate, circuit board. I'm not gonna take the micro SD card out because that's, you know, I don't need to mess with all that. Screwdrivers. Anti-slip pad fasteners. Uh oh, what about them switches? He didn't include the other, uh, the other cool flex goalie stuff. I'll just put that up here. Um, for switches, I ordered some uh, Cali. I don't know how to say that word even. Cal, Cali, Cal. Switches. Um, box jades. They are the clickiest mugs around. Uh, it's, I should put a little asterisk there. They're they're very clicky. I don't know if they're the the, the clickiest, but um, you know, I, I watched some streams about this ducky pad already, and some you know some YouTube content, and somebody rightly pointed out that like, you don't you don't t you don't you're not typing on a macro pad, so the constraints of, uh, you know, a typing keyboard, they're not the same, right? So like. I wouldn't find it very enjoyable to have a keyboard that was constantly 
clacking at me. That would get bothersome, I think. But one that I clack, you know, once every minute or so, or not even that often, it's pretty satisfying to have that nice clack, just the real click, click, click. So, yeah, I got really clicky ones. Um, when I ordered it, it came with this weird one uh, here. This little brown. It's, it doesn't look like a box. It's not a box switch. It's like a normal MX stem. It's very clicky. It has a click bar. I'm not sure why it came with these. It's just showing off that, hey, look, we have other switches too, or if it was just a picking error or something. I don't know. Either way, got my switches here. So if we do a little bit further, do, 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 we got some screws. We got some standoffs. I'm not going to lay them all out here. I'll pick them up as I need them. So start by peeling the protective. Oh, a little bit ahead there. Place the plate in front of you like this. Um, uh, yeah, we got the little hole at the top there like this shows. No big deal. Uh, start from a hole in the middle. Put an 8 millimeter screw through the back side. Okay. Let's go ahead and quickly lose some screws here. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it wants it through the back side. No big deal. Then screw the two millimeter standoff. Finger tight, okay, just make sure it's not loose and doesn't rattle. Okay, let's do that. All right, finger tight it is. No rattle. No rattle. Do the same with all the holes except bottom right. Don't do this one. Okay, no problem. I like that uh, instruction. It's, it's fun. It's like, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in detail once. Pay attention. It's going to be on the quiz. All of these are probably going to fall out as I go to flip this thing over, but you know what? I wish I had a sponge here. I need that sponge trick. Uh, I'm just going to go whap. Ah, lost one. Okay, no big deal. I'll put that back in. Oh, two. Damn. Record is shot. Alright, you. Okay. I have never used a two millimeter long standoff before. They are very cute. teeny tiny okay I'm not gonna finger tight those just yet I'm gonna get the other two on just getting that going you know I'll I guess I should see. Is anybody even watching this? I don't. How do I? How do I check that? I don't know. OBS. Uh, I need to set that up a little bit better. If anybody's watching who like uh, knows how to do this streaming thing better, be sure and let me know. Oh, I, it helps to hold the thing in the damn frame. That's, I'll, st I'll start there. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's one more that goes here. I did not do the bottom right. Not doing it. Not gonna make me. Um, <laughs> okay, two millimeter standoffs, done. Finger tightening. The very last one right now. Okay. Um, I just had a thought. I could turn on my thingamagoop here if we wanted to have some beeps and boops. Let me see if I can get a good station going. I always find that very soothing, so... 
Yeah, let's have some beeps. Um, okay, so did all with the bot, and actually, no, that's too distracting. I don't, I don't need you, Thingamagoop. Later, maybe later, we'll introduce you formally. Okay, the 2.8 millimeter screw. Is there just, no, there's a bunch of those. Okay, so taking one of those. And I need the two millimeter standoff for that. Okay, there's no through hole there. It's literally just this. Oh, there is a little through hole there. Huh, what's going on with this? I wonder. Um, another two millimeter standoff goes on there hands please with the hands thank you all right oh man oh, oh I think I see what they might do there so that they, you can see it better in the picture on the uh, the interwebs here there's like a little cavity there I think they're going to have you screw another screw into the top side of that to hold that point in place. We'll see. Let's find out. It's an adventure. Uh, go wash your hands. Like I said, I washed my hands before I started this because these are COVID times. And grab the circuit board by its edge, line up, and install as shown. I've got a hole there. Bingo. Beautiful. Okay. Then install all six four millimeter standoffs. Moderately tighten. Moderately. Okay. Do do do. Yep. Yeah, they want us to put a little little two millimeter screw through that. Hold it in place. Okay. Oh, don't don't blow away. Can get some popping. If they could make a switch that made the sound of bubble wrap popping, had the haptics of bubble wrap popping, you could sell a bunch of those kind of switches. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's almost, you know, it's pretty close. It's pretty satisfying in the same way. So, maybe that's the appeal here. Uh, they said tighten moderately. I don't. I don't really f think I should break out the pliers to tighten these. I still think finger tight is is probably right. There's no, not a whole lot of mechanical, uh, you know, not a whole lot of mechanical action happening in this uh, little little macro pad here. So I expect that finger tight will be more than enough. And there's two more to go. The little standoffs make it so easy to handle this thing. The screws aren't moving at all. It's, it feels very secure. I've never used a kit that had um, the little intermediate standoff here between the bottom plate and the PCB. Usually it's, uh, you know, just sort of a, let me grab my, my little vomit board microdox here. Like the microdox has the same sort of three layer thing going on, but the the PCB proper doesn't touch the bottom plate at all. It's supported from the switches through the top plate and the PCB just sort of, it's free running on the, the standoff there. So this is the first time that I've seen it uh, with this sort of bottom mount. I mean, I know a lot of keyboards do that, but I, I haven't done it myself. Do, do, do. Getting that last standoff on there. And then they call for one 2.8 millimeter screw. Uh, that seems good. And here I'm going to use the little screwdriver included with the kit. He wasn't kidding about being a very little screwdriver. 
I like it though, it's cute. All right, so I can't really even tighten this all the way down. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah, I think I can. It's kind of it's kind of tight. The standoff down there was kind of spinning a little bit. I might need to grab a second screwdriver and maybe I can do a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a little bit better. I have a kit here. Sorry for that Velcro sound. I'm sure that was choice. And yeah, this seems like it'll work. So, oh god, I'm just gonna destroy everything. I really ought ought to have tested the PCB before I. Hey, come on. Are you not even getting purchase here? Ugh. Okay. Too small. Too small. I keep checking the heads on these. Some of these are trilobe in there because I took apart a Wiimote once and needed trilobe. Okay, I think that's getting purchased. It's still very small. Uh, let's see about yellow. Is yellow the right one? Nope. That's that's the trilobe. Yeah, that's the trilobe I was warning about. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. I know I got another. No. There we are. It's like almost the same exact thing that came with the kit. <laughs> I love it. I can imagine the little factory where they make baby tools like this. Like, and this is our miniature tool line for toddlers. Okay, there's no more tightening that. That's going to be a little bit loose. I might, I might come back with a shim or something. Or maybe, is there a smaller screw here that I'm missing? Uh, let's go back to the bill of materials and see if there were two outlier length screws. No, okay. They're uniformly length. I just need a little gasket paper or something like that. Maybe I'll call up this old Tony and see if he can split me off some shim stock. Two millimeter hole in it. Um, <laughs> All right, so then line up the front plate, install with 2.8 millimeter screws. Okay, bingo. I see where they're going with this. Um, so let me just populate these holes uh, with the screws first. Take a little sip of water here. Yeah, just pre-populate all these holes with these short screws. Dainty little screws. I wonder if the organizer, Deku Nukem, um, if he like packaged up all these screws himself, like just sitting at home, like eight of you, here's eight of you and eight of you, or if he like just hired a factory and they did all of the packaging and sent him little, little, you know, little gram bag sized uh, kits. I wonder how that works. Seems like there's some money to be made there. All right, so I'm just gonna tighten these bad boys in. Do do. So this slightly nicer screwdriver is magnetic. Is this one magnetic too? No. Okay. It's actually kind of uh, not great to have a magnetic screwdriver right there. I don't want the screw picking up on me. Am I cross-threaded? 
No, just a short screw. Seems pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice, it's coming together really nicely. <clears throat> and then flip it over, clean the plate with a dry cloth. If it's dirty, it's, it, I literally just took the plastic off. There's like a, a little, little bit of fingerprint there. I've got a little microfiber cloth here because I'm a glasses wearer. Let's just clean it off. Let's get all four corners. Do do okay, and then I've got my four little pads here. So let's take them off. Oh, this one has a little hat. I don't know if you can see the little hat there. It came off with a corner of the thing. I'll get ready. Bye bye hat. And I will. Oh, it's very sticky. Okay. I see what they're trying for here. It's called a stick on pad. Um, I'll stick it on there. I'm gonna be, this plate has some unsupported edges, some corners here that are unsupported. So I'm gonna be careful not to like apply any sort of sandwiching force there to uh, possibly break a corner of that so maybe if I was doing if I was doing a second one of these I might put the pads on first first or maybe second right like I don't want to cover up that screw hole with a pad so maybe I want to have these screws in place before I put that pad on but I, I try I want I think I would try to do it before I put on the, uh, the plate Oh, this one has a little hat too. It gets to keep its hat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to not encroach on that screw with this pad. Let's get rid of all this negative before I take off the pad. Beautiful. And then get the third corner. Again, just being really careful here to not apply any force anywhere but that little back plate. all assembled. I'm going to regret doing all this assembly if there's anything wrong with the PCB that causes it to need any, uh, you know, if I got to jiggle the cable or something to get the LCD to work. Uh, I think a few people have had to do that on the Discord. Um, then I'll have to take it all back apart again. But such is life. That's the life of a keyboard type person. You got to, sometimes you got to do it again. Okay, the next step they're saying is to put the switches in. So I've got my switches here. Again, soup just clicky. I can see the bar here in Discord. It's jumping way up into the yellow. It's like it's like hitting it's like hitting negative thirteen dB there on this. Uh, you know what, what the mic is reading so the little, little jumpy bars anyway so very clicky I'm very excited about that click and I'm gonna bop these things in there it looks like we're south facing Let me try to get them aligned here getting these perfectly aligned if the plate is at all 
you know, tight on its tolerances. You got to get it in the plate, and then you also got to get it in the. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice little click on two. Um, oh God, I'm bending the pin. Yeah, so sometimes these pens. Again, apologies for the crappy camera situation. The little pins. They get a little bent as you start to insert. If you're careful, as you watch, you can you can catch it before it becomes a problem. Take it out and just bend it back. But I'm gonna try to get it really square as I insert it, and I'm gonna try to watch to see that those pins went in well and cleanly and didn't bend. Okay, beautiful. You're gonna hear that click a lot if you watch this stream. So I'm gonna check the alignment of the pins. Watching really carefully. The plate's getting some bending here as I get the switch in. That's fine, I think I got it aligned. I think I got it seated. Um, needs a little bit more pressure here. Oy. Um, what's going on? Okay, well, I hope that's not going to be a problem. It doesn't quite look like the doesn't quite look like the standoffs are the right size to suit the plate thickness and the switch height. I don't know, maybe box switches are a little off uh, dimensionally from what a regular MX profile looks like or what a regular MX looks like, but I'm getting some bending here on the on the plate whenever I insert the switches all the way. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera. I'm not going to worry about it. I think there's enough pin length here that they're getting good engagement even without being uh, firmly seated against the PCB. So it shouldn't impede functionality at all. Just a sort of aesthetic thing. All right, moving on to the next. Looks good, moving on. So it's pretty much just exactly like all the others whenever you get one in. Except sometimes you'll bend a pen or something. Yeah, those are the exciting ones. So far so good. start on the inside this time so I can see a little bit better. Again here I'm more interested in seeing that the pin remains straight than that the housing gets into the uh, like that I'm primarily focused on the pen going into the hot swap socket secondarily focused on the switch body aligning correctly with the, the plate because eventually the switch body will align with the plate but if the pin isn't aligned well initially then you're gonna have a bad time Yeah, I'm seeing seeing some waviness in the in the height of these switches. I think that the standoff could be a these middle standoffs could be a little bit shorter, just a teensy bit shorter, and they might fit a little bit better. Good. 
last row here. All right, well, the plate is robust. This uh, thin stock acrylic, it has a lot of bend to it before it breaks. That's good because it kind of got smashed underneath the switch. It didn't didn't do any anything remotely like breaking. It bent all the way down there without any problem. So it's pretty fault tolerant in terms of assembly is what I'm seeing here because that might have broken some other plates or bent them in a, in a way that would be harder to recover from. All right, all the switches in place. I am gonna be happy to see this thing um, not have to be disassembled. I'm gonna leave the keycaps off for a minute. Uh, finally, if it hasn't been done, peel the protective cover off the OLED screen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's like my favorite part. Ooh, so satisfying. Bye. Bye. Um, I think this thing was supposed to come preloaded with some profiles. So let's plug it in. Let's see how, how she does. So let me grab a USB-C cable over here. Again, I'm going to pilfer from the... Um, from the Microdox kit. And let's see. Let me get a USB C here. Yeah. Leave that alone for a minute and then let's plug in our USB C cable. Let's see if this thing light up. Bam! Oh, haha! <laughs> That's fun. It does a cool little uh, staggered light up animation thing. Um, okay. So, oh, cool. Yeah, I see. Um, the camera. It's yeah. It's getting kind of washed out on the camera. That let's put the caps on. Let's put the caps on. That'll help to prevent it from washing out so bad. Oh my boy! Oh, Samuel, that's my boy. He's gonna enjoy touching this. That's gonna be. I should have thought that through better. He's a two-year-old. He's gonna really love playing with this light-up thing. That might be trouble. Okay. Figure. There we go. So very satisfying to click. I mean, I say Samuel's gonna love playing with it. I'm I'm gonna love playing with it. That's what I'm doing here. This is a toy. Have to acknowledge that. Yeah, I can hit Control S just fine. This button does it though for me. Yeah, see how clicky it is. Let's click, click. Do do do. I think the instructions for this were very thorough. I like them. There was the one order thing I would change about putting on the sticky pads. There's one little, um, it's you know not even a problem I would say. It's a little problematic maybe that the plate isn't quite seated perfectly the right distance off of the, uh, the PCB to house the switches. 
So uh, again, that's not that's not damning in any way. I think it's a great kit. I think it looks looks really tremendous. Um, the screen is very nice. The fact that it'll tell us uh, what all of the different profiles are, and I'm going to see if I can get in on that screen a little bit. The screen looks very nice. Um, ooh, the color changes per profile. That's a very nice touch. It's already got Twitch set up as a as a uh, as a uh, um, profile. It's got a little game layer. It looks like where you get wads. Not quite. It's kind of oh yeah, it is. It's set up sideways, so you could use it this way as a little gamepad if with the default profiles. A numpad, which is honestly a very good use for it I feel uh, auto hotkey I don't use auto hotkey maybe I'll start and then just normal windows cool I'm very excited about um, about using this thing I have another few minutes here to keep streaming uh oh why you know why you know do the thing okay that's one that I'll check into oh cool whenever I clicked that button it uh, started here I'll put it on the screen it brought up notepad and started typing for me that's that's a fun little thing Wow, it just zoomed it in for me too. That's so it can do a lot of things, is what we're seeing. Um, again, the Discord here, I, it's uh, a very uh, good community. I'd say it's worth joining if you're considering getting a ducky pad. Um, yeah, let's go through the rest of these switches. Whoa, okay, that hid everything. Uh, let's see if it brings it back. Okay, so that one toggles. Um, it could be that this key isn't appearing to work because nothing is playing. This is the pause key, so we'll check a different profile to see if that does uh, anything here. Um, uh, I kind of don't want to touch some of these because I'm streaming right now. Let's switch it over to a, uh, a less... A knock or a less troublesome. I'm just gonna bop over to the chat window here, and I'm gonna hit some of these. Um, huh, okay. Okay, that 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 key still is not giving me any juice here. Okay, that's copy, paste, and enter. Okay. Uh, okay, so everything seems to be working except that guy. Uh, I want to see about the copy and paste functionality here. See how that's set up. If I copy and then go down here and paste. Okay. Seems to work right. All except this one switch. So let's see about that one switch then. So we put on our troubleshooting hat. Uh, I I like troubleshooting, but before we get into that, let's um, put the excess hardware away. Thank you for including some extra hardware. The other day a neighborhood cat I was petting it. And I was being nice to it. I was petting it and it reached it reached out with its claws and nearly took my hand clean off as you can see um, so let's unpluck it and let's investigate that one switch here I'm going to oh huh. and there we have it so the thing about acrylic plates and keyboards 
is that the um, acrylic is too thick for the little pins on the switch. I don't think I can really even show them to you that well because I don't understand spatial orientation. Yeah, there's two little there's two little, uh, bits of teeth on this side and on this side that would grab on to the um, to the plate, but they can't really engage because the plate is too thick. Um, so a keycap puller, this thing here, uh, will uh, pull the keycap off along with the switch. So you don't even really need a switch puller if you have a good keycap puller. Um, and we can see right away, just straight away, that that pen is bent quite significantly. It's like, uh, that. yeah, that's a really, really bent pen. So I'm gonna grab my needle nose here. I'm gonna show off my uh, bit of sewing that I did here to make a nice uh, kit for uh, all my soldering tools. So I just bust this out whenever I'm going to be soldering something and have all my tools at hand. Um, I'm going to take my needle nose here and I'm going to carefully just straighten this mug out. And we're going to hope here that the straightening out was sufficient. I want to try putting it back in. So yeah, if you just take a little bit of care, you can usually straighten it out. Although once a, once a bit of metal is bent, the tendency is going to be for it to bend right back there at that same place and to break there. Um, so I got about one more shot at this, otherwise I'll use a different switch and I'll just throw this one in the bin marked uh, solder on only. And we'll just see. Um, so again, I, I have limited visibility here as I try to insert this thing, um, unless I wanted to take out all of the switches in the same row, or column rather. And we're just gonna try to just be cognizant of its orientation uh, as we insert it and uh, what I would normally suggest is that you take off the bottom plate and look at the pins um, look at the pins as they come through the hot swap socket but this board makes it a little tough to do just removing the bottom plate because uh, the screw here goes through a standoff and then the PCB and another standoff so you'd lose that middle standoff and it'd just be kind of a pain in the ass to put it back together again so I'm just gonna hope this worked let's plug it back in beep boo -doo, boom and then let's go to a chat window still not a mm, that is frustrating okay let's see what happened I didn't put a cap on it yet, so I need my puller, switch puller. Get in there, grab it by the, yep, bent right back the way it was. Just, it's just a tragedy. So bye bye. It's a good thing that the uh, people at Novel Keys won't sell you less than 70 of them, so I have plenty of extras cover this 15 switch macro pad um no shade on novel keys i think they have a good store but you know smaller packs smaller packs of switches there's a there's a reason for allowing that okay let's do it and push gently yeah there we go i don't know if that was gentle but it's in there let's see if it bent a pen Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Love it. Okay. So there is the ducky pad. Let's put this last switch back on there. Do, do, do. Bam. 
I gotta say the the notes on it are really great. The the color change when you touch it, it even does like a fading thing. Again, I think it's probably washed out a little bit. Here, maybe you can see it. I'll fuck put a white background. And I do a little obscuring of the switch itself. You can probably just see, yeah, see the background there. Ooh, and then it fades back. Oh, it's very satisfying. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, so big thanks to um, Deku Nukem and Kickstarter for getting this thing out the door. I need to go on Kickstarter and say that I received it. Um, it's got a little dust brush here. If I get some salt on my on my macro pad, I can brush it off very gently with this thing. Yeah, uh, and um, maybe next time I'll do a stream on um, the configuration that I land on for using this thing. I haven't really thought much about the particulars. I know that there's a few things I want to do with my paint for my uh, tutoring stream, and I want to do some things with uh, Twitch itself with changing changing scenes and whatnot so yeah we'll see what that looks like over time thanks for watching um next time i stream keyboard building stuff will be whenever the mark 65 arrives from uh, boardsource.xyz uh, so as soon as i get that i will have another stream with a precariously mounted cell phone webcam and i will stream the construction of that kit so uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.